What's up guys, got a very special another box in and today we got the Polytheus backline. Now, this version is uh, a V2. I have tried the V1, that was the pink one with the three torque screws at the bottom for spacers. This is the V2, this is the most recent drop he's done before his 2019 BC Kukuis. So this is the most recent drop that he's done. Um, let's get started. Just trying to get that package out of the box. You can see there's nothing in the box. Boom. Alrighty, now one sec guys, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back as you can see, uh, it's in a BRS case. Now I actually do kind of feel bad because uh, the sender actually sent a BRS case and I only uh, sent the knife itself wrapped up in bevel wrap. So, you know, I shouldn't have sent a, I mean, I should have sent a BRS case as well, but I mean, I, I didn't know he was sending a BRS case. So, but alright guys, let's get started. Boom. The V2 backline. Now, I'm just gonna see if there's anything in it. He did say he sent the card because I saw a card in the pictures. He did. Sweet. I think that's it though. Yeah. Yeah, that, that one doesn't open. All right, enough with the case. We already know what they look like. Now, the card, this is the Platheus backline 17 out of 25, uh, 319, which was you know, pretty soon here. Uh, so yeah, too so sweet. This is the most recent drop of the back line. You can see from, there's two torque screws. Let's open her up. Oh, wow. Wow, he oiled the blade as well. I might actually uh, clean that off. Um, yeah, actually you might clean that off. All right guys, I'll be right back. Wow, it is definitely oiled. I'll be right back. All right guys, we're back and uh, as you can see, uh, I'm finished and uh, not gonna lie there was quite a bit of oil on there but that hey that's fine I mean I don't mind because oil is just protection from rust and uh, but I'm in a state where rust really doesn't really happen quite often compared like there's really no humidity where I am right now at all so excuse me <coughs> <coughs> so yeah but uh, yeah guys the Platheus backline the very new drop um, the newest drop that I can think of before the 2019 BC Kukri, so um, so when, when I was cleaning this, I can already tell these handles, these edges from the V1 to the V2, that these edges on the V2 are extremely like grippy, super grippy. Like these edges are actually kind of sharp. Not super sharp, but like they're like they're so grippy that they're actually kind of like, like you just feel it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like they're kind of, sh they're pretty, they're not sharp, but they feel like they're sharp. You know, like right there, you know, I like can just see my thumb, but, but I can tell already, like, it's gonna flip great. Now, the problem with the other one is that it was kind of, actually kind of beat. I mean, there was like some G10 off. There was uh, some marks on the blade, some tip wear, tip chips, you know, and it wasn't really pristine condition. Um, now I wasn't really re looking for a pristine condition one, but I do I found this uh, For sale from one of my buddies and uh, I mean I asked them if I can trade and I traded him so um, but Yeah, it's just the black. I like the black. I mean come on. I mean I'm more of a I like the black more of the pink because I'm not really a pink kind of person I know it's kind of uh, that was the genre of the v1 colors that you know, it was a uh, lime green or something like that all of like it was like some kind of lime green chair uh dark red and pink which are okay colors his newer drops for the back lines were black and blue i think yeah so but yeah guys the platheus back line now i know the steel is d2 usually all of pale's blades now are just d2 steel um it is so let's just go over this knife real quick how about so the Blade is D2 steel. Um, it is kind of like a, I forgot what blade style this is, but I think it's kind of like a Tonto, but it's not a Tonto. I I forgot what blade style this is, honestly. I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of like the Rev blade style, but it's not. Um, I should probably do a comparison video of the Rev and the backline, a comparison and contrast video. But um, yeah, guys, it's the, the blade is D2 steel. And uh, as you can see, there's no wear on this blade. There's still some oil on there. As you can see, there, there's just a lot of oil. But that, that's fine. I, I like that. But it has a nice fine edge to it. Nice grooves. 
you know, nice grindings. Um, very nice. Now, the Athea's backline, the logo is pretty nice. You can just see it just lights up in the light right there. Um, just glows. Now, the construction on this ballet is Zenpin construction. It has G10 liners, I mean G10 scales. Uh, titanium liners with, I think, titanium uh, spacers with T10s, I think. Yep. And then T6s or 8s for the Zen pin screws and the latch um, screws. Now, I don't know why he went with two. Um, oh, this is the same as construction, by the way. But yeah, I don't know why he went with two this time instead of three, because usually most every single one of them, it's been three except the Jade Rev and the back lines. You know, it's always been three torque screws, and then before it was the it was the latch, and then yeah. So um, I'm wondering why he went with just two of them. Hmm. But yeah, it doesn't really change much. I mean, it looks like the same spacer weight is on there. I mean, nothing's really changed much at all compared to the V1, the V2, except I've heard some from people that the V1 is a bit thicker for the G10. Now, in my opinion, I saw the stats on each, on like the comparison of the two. Now, all his knives are like a thousandths off, you know, they're not exact, but they're pretty damn close. So, it, from his stats, I mean, they look exactly the same thickness. So, I don't know if that was true or not about the V1s being more thicker, but um, yeah, guys, I mean, she's mint now, but I'm gonna make her my flipper. Now, I'm not gonna really beat her. But I'm gonna flip her for a while, just because the reason I got another one and from the newest drop is because I wanted to try a V2 and I really did enjoy the back line. Now I know it's on washers and it's on bushings, but like it flips amazing. I don't know, like you find that knife that just suits you and it flips and it, and it you know, like when you flip it, you tell it what to do and it does it, you know, or you, something like that. You guys know where I'm going from. Kind of like the Alpha Beast, like, that's my favorite production knife, just because it flips so well. And, uh, you know, there's plenty out there, and I could beat the shit out of an Alpha Beast and just get another one. Now, I know they're 400, so I'm not going to do that, but... But that's why I got a backline, you know? It just suits me for my flipping ability, and, uh, I mean, I love it. It's super smooth for chaplains. It doesn't fly off your fingers. And, uh, I mean... That's pretty much it. I mean, it doesn't, I just, that's why I got another one. But yeah, guys, Plathia's work is always awesome. I've always been a pale fanboy. I've reviewed so much pales now. I don't even know how much pales I've reviewed. I know I've reviewed, let's just actually count them. Why you guys look at the back line. So but anyways, guys, the pale back line, very nice. Um, I can already feel like it's, it's gonna flip great, you know? And I know it's a, uh, 800 700 i mean seven eight hundred dollar ballet on washers not bushings but you know you can easily go and you know let your buddy put in bushings or you know some one of your close friends on instagram or you know contact a moderate you might have to pay some but i mean i think they're worth it i mean this is the cheapest pale knife you're gonna get out of the whole entire genre of pails just because pales knives go for you know usually around two thousand dollars and uh, who has two thousand dollars, right? So I mean, definitely. I mean, definitely. If you guys don't have the money for, to even, or if you guys didn't win the drop, or you don't have two thousand dollars, I mean, go for the Pythias backline. I think they're worth it, just because you know. I mean, I know it's on washers again, guys, but honestly, I mean, this is this is. There's nothing else like. You're not gonna get a payout cheaper than this. Let's be honest. I mean, you know, you're not. I mean, usually pales knives again. I don't know if I said this already or not, but I mean, around two thousand dollars or one thousand seven hundred to two thousand dollars, you know. And this is the cheapest pail you're gonna get out of the bunch. And this is the, there's a reason why I got this knife because it's the cheapest one, and I don't mind flipping the shit out of it. But yeah, guys, I mean, the Cleothius backline, I think they're definitely worth it. Now, the tune, you know, it's on washers, it's on bushings, so there's that. And I there is tap, but not crazy tons. You know, not crazy, crazy tons. So, ooh. But yeah, guys, the handles are very, like, just grippy. More grippy than I than the V1s, in my opinion. But I really love this back line. I can't wait to flip it a lot. 
I mean, it makes a great noise too. This is super nice. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the Pythias backline. Um, definitely a pair that I'm definitely gonna flip. That's the reason why I got it. Um, so, because this could be the only pair I'm gonna really flip. And I really enjoyed the other Pythias backline. And I had to try a V2 out. So. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely did enjoy making it. Um, I think it did a better job, honestly, on the V2s and the V1s, just because it's very grippy. There's enough spacer weight. I mean, it's just pretty much like a rep, to be honest, almost. But it flips better, in my opinion, than a rep, just because it's pale. And uh, usually Pale's products flip insanely good, and they do, not gonna lie. I don't think there's one Pale product I've ever been, you know, not happy with. I've gone through a, quite a few pails in my time and I've been happy with every single one of them. But again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I mean, very awesome. Go follow my Instagram. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go follow my Instagram at God of Aries on Instagram. Uh, it's uh, at God underscore of underscore Aries underscore. So uh, yeah, for any more future pics and videos. And uh, don't worry guys, more content will be seen and shown. Uh, you just gotta be patient again. So uh, I'm trying my best to get more ballets and review them. Cause guys, let's be honest, we're almost to a hundred ballets and it's been a year now. It's been a while, uh, more than a year actually. And we're almost to a hundred ballets that I've reviewed. It's crazy guys. All right guys, hope you guys have a good one. And as always, peace out.